This is Marcus. Pick it up, drop it off. Sounds simple enough. Understood. I have someone for it. It's so straightforward, there's no way anyone could possibly screw this up. We just pass the ball around and do some teamwork. Pass the ball. Be able to beat the All right, I'll just pass open. the ball to me. Hey, close! Get the ball! I'm wide open. Get past the. Don't shoot it. Hey, pass hey, the ball. Hey, hey. I'm wide open. Pass it. I'm right. Charlie, stay clean, buddy. Stay clean. Come on! You gotta move the ball. Okay, I'll get this one. It's Marcus, and you've never been here before. Do you have the package? Yeah, I got it right here, Marley. It was a piece of cake. Uh, if you guys are lucky, I might stick around for a few other jobs. But I'm, I'm just kidding. Here's the bag. But seriously, I need just to Just hand over the bag. It's right, it's right in there. Just gotta dig through the bottom. It's not a big deal or anything. Is this some kind of joke? I just need, uh, need there were military blueprints worth millions of dollars in that bag. 
Uh, please, just, get, just give me another chance. Get the boss on the phone. We need to figure out how we need to fix this. Please, just, just give me another chance. The only reason why you don't have a bullet in your brain is because of the respect I had for your father, Vinny Armato. This pipsqueak is Vinny Armato's kid? The same Vinny Armato that ran the west side in 64? Yeah, yeah that's me. All right, now just let me fix this, please. Okay, okay, enough of that. Out of the respect I have for your father, I'll give you a chance to clean up the mess that you've made. What? Oh, thank you so much. I, I greatly appreciate it. All right. No, but seriously. All right, thank all right, you. get off of me. You have three days to find the package and bring it back. All right, I won't let you down. Now, seriously, get out of here. Shut the door. I don't trust him. I want you two following him wherever he goes. He may be playing us. Make sure he stays on task. Update me with any new intel. You honestly think that pipsqueak is capable of having another plan up his sleeve? If he's a fool enough to bring that bag in here, anything could happen. I'll have no comic character ruining my plan. God, I swear that kid has to be adopted. I've arrived at the uh, school of the elusive culprit. I am now going to infiltrate this facility and obtain what I'm looking for. His address. Hi, ma'am, or sir. Sorry, it's just a little weird male secretary. I mean, it's, it's not that weird. I just, you know. Do you, do you need something? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, George Armada. I'm, I'm looking for uh, Jim Barry. Yeah, and uh, how do you know him? He's my, uh, my, my brother. Yeah, he's my brother. So yesterday. Wait, so your, your name's George Armano and your, your brother is with uh, Jim Barry? Is that a directory of all the members uh, here? Yes. All the names and addresses in there? You can't really uh, speak. I've arrived at the dwelling of the elusive culprit. I will now infiltrate his... Uh, his house and retrieve the package. Here we go. I think we should go inside. Nah, it's just a civilian's house. George can handle it. Oh man. All right, let's follow that guy. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Bill just called. He says he needs to set his house. It's an emergency. Okay, I'll turn around. I was really hungry though. What? Is El that Rancho. a El Rancho? Charles! What the heck are they? They're two hours late. Dude, this Charles, look at this. Wow, just seasoning the pot. Where the heck have you guys been? Uh, those churros? Uh, you want one? No! Uh, uh, I, I would like to do that. No, okay, have one. Come on, guys. We are in a serious situation here. Oh, oh, well, man, these churros are seriously good. Marley, we are being chased by a mobster who is trying to kill us. And all you can think about is that stupid churro. Mobsters? What do they want? It's all in this file titled Jim Barry. Guys! And it says something about the Guys, package. Guys, wait. Guys, this is just like an episode of CSI I was watching yesterday. So it all started with this real creepy looking guy burying Marley. a little girl Marley. inside. Marley! Yeah? Can this wait, please? Fine. What? 
It, maybe it's this toy. I found my bed. Bill, that's not a toy. That's a print. And where did you get that? I might have grabbed the wrong bag after your basketball. Okay, this explains everything. Perfect. Guys, we need to get out of here before they find us. Do they happen to drive a blacked out SUV? All right, we need a plan right now. Marley, you black out the window. Oh, on it. My uncle, he works for the uh, police, police department. No, no police, police, no police. <laughs> That's no. a terrible That's idea. Terrible. Wait, guys, guys, guys. I know a place. I know a place where we can finally be safe and learn some of the fighting moves to finally square up against this tough guy. Where? Trust me. Sensei around back. Marley, what are you wearing? I'm just getting in the spirit. Shall we? I think he's dead. Kill him, shut up. He's just finding his inner peace through meditation. All right, guys, we've been here for 15 minutes. I don't think he's meditating. I think he's asleep. Bill, please. You're disturbing both of us trying to find our inner peace. Trust me. Do what every good sensei does. See the color blue flowing through your diaphragm. Eric, can you do something? Uh, yo, sensei. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 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 I feel so good to be in your glory and all. Please, train me in your ways. Um, what? what what's, hap what's happening? Uh, we called like half an hour ago about Kung Fu lessons. Were you just asleep? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I was in a deep state of meditation and reflection. I told you guys. That requires a bit of snoring. Yeah, so, uh, will you teach us? Yes, it will teach you the ways of the fist and the foot. I meant to do that and whatever the heck else. Yeah, that's great. We're kind of in a rush, so can we go ahead and get started? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, um, but I'm not used to working in such large groups. Uh, you two, um, oh, come on. Yeah, so you cover the windows and you take the grip. Wait! This is just like the Karate Kid. It's like a swish on, swish off! I guess that means I'm... Daniel's son. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever helps you sleep at night, just make sure you do a good job. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to study Kung Fu at its very core. <laughs> Listen, Sensei, as much as I'd like to, we're in a little bit of a rush, so can we skip all that self-discipline inner-peace stuff and just get right to the action? Self-discipline? Inner-peace? That is wimpy bullcrap for third graders who want sports credit! I am about kicking some butt and taking some names. Okay, well, great. Why don't we get started with some of that, you know, like a kick punch? Kind of, of course. Now, one of the first things you must learn in Kung Fu is the element of surprise. Oh! Why are you even doing this? You know he's just using us to get his chores done, right? You know what, Bill? You might learn something if you actually submit to the sensei's pedagogy. Do you really think that this is gonna help us? Bill! The journey of 10,000 miles starts with one small step for mankind, young grasshopper. Oh, you didn't even get that right. So you're a poet now? Ha! A poet? Bill? No. Think of me as clay, ready to be molded into whatever shape the sensei wants. I'm a believer in the system, simply. Are you? Uh, I guess. Then, get to work. Start with a little wash on, wash off motion. Get your hips into it. Show me. Good, good. But uh, Sensei really likes to accent the hip movement, so move the hips. Let me show you. Move the hips. Okay, this is ridiculous. This isn't helping at all. Let's just go check on the others. All right. Now. We have to continue working on that high pain threshold. Oh God, not again. Listen, 
Sensei, lesson's going great. I just uh, don't think our brains can handle so many new moves at once. Uh, uh, I don't think our spleens can handle anymore. Oh, oh, is that my phone? I hear it. Let me go grab that. I hear nothing. Sensei, do you hear me? We just finished our specialized defense training. What? I'm ready. I think he means washing the window. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for my one-on-one -on -one combat. Actually, we're gonna uh, come back Excuse tomorrow. Excuse me, we? It's, it's, it's That's a good idea. Yep, cool. Well, Sensei, we'll see you real soon. Bye bye. Yep. See you real soon. I can't believe we had to pay that lunatic 150 bucks just to kick Seriously. our butts. I know, guys. What a deal. Thanks for your terrible idea, Marley. Now, now those monsters are still on our tail and we lost two hours. Look, at this point, our only hope is to go back to Jim's house. Jim's house and, and get some supplies and weapons. Come on, let's go. Sounds okay. good to me. Come on, Jim. Let me go. go! Come on. We can actually do better. Come on. All right. Here's the plan. Jim, this is your house, right? Go okay. get us some weapons. Big weapons. Oh, I, I got big weapons. weapons. Marley? Yes. You know where the food is? Of course I know where the food is. Go get is. us some food. Essentials only. I gotcha! Eric and I will take the rest. Yeah. Glorious. This world is my master. We've hit the mother load. Uh, the nutrition facts are always good to see. Mm. Total fat, zero grams? I am on a diet. Sour goes warm with my personality. But I always prefer Safeway kitchens. The safe bet? Get them both. Everything's here, this is good. So, what? Why don't you come with us? I'm not in the, no! got everything. Okay, good. Wait a second. Where's Marley? Marley, uh, no, it's good. I saw him get out in the car with a couple friends. What? Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have friends. They probably weren't his friends. I had it! Uh, I swear I'll kill you! Come at me! Day one, part two of my search for the elusive culprit. In my genius, I have decided to make a trap to apprehend my foe. I begin with him walking through this door while well, he will have the daylight scared out of him by this undead butler. He will then fall back and only be tripped by these cruelly placed marshmallows, but in my mercy I have placed his mattress to shelter the ball. He will then be blown by the winds of this fan into the ropes, or he will be knocked unconscious by this lacrosse bag. Now I lie in wait. Oh, but of course, the lights. How can I forget? God, it's so awfully dark, man. Let me turn on the flashlights. It's a lot better. Ah! Oh, gosh! Oh, man. Oh. Hey, Bill, can we open up the door so we can get the supplies out of the garage? Yeah, hold on just a sec. To kidnap Marley. Yeah, it is. Let's ask him a few questions of our own. Yeah. Nah, he's waking up. All right, hey, buddy. Time to tell us some answers. Yeah, yeah, listen, buddy, if you're not gonna talk to us, we're gonna have to use our friend Jim here to get out some of his modern tools of persuasion. Maybe that'll convince you to talk a little more. Jim? What is that? It's a lightsaber. Dude, put that toy away. It's a real lightsaber. Get us a real weapon. Come on. Come on. Anyways, like Uber saying. All right. Slip killer, big time. You've got to be kidding me. You haven't seen a gun from this angle? This isn't even real. Did you buy any real weapons? Like, real guns? Yes! 
My parents don't let me have real guns. These are just as fun and safe. We as don't the commercial we don't tells want you. Want safe. Ah. We want dangerous. We yeah, are trying to run race fake and talk. Look, the only reason I'm doing this job is because my dad ran the mafia on this side of the country. So I, I naturally fell into the family business after him. But I'm no true gangster. I'm not like him at all. I hardly even knew the guy. Most of everything I do know about the old man was from the news or other people's stories. <laughs> I lived with my grandmother, Nina, till I was 18. Look, I was just trying to do right by my dad. Do you know what it's like to spend your whole life hearing things like, you got big shoes to fill, to live with no one believing you can actually help, to be continually ignored and driven around by others? You know, others' whims? You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I should just shut up. You'd be surprised. We can be a pretty understanding bunch. But if all of this is true, why don't you just give us a friend back and let us go? Look, it's not my career anymore. It's my life. That package is more important to them than to any of our lives. I've seen enough to know that. What other guys? What do you mean? Are you working for someone else? I do jobs for a lot of people, but yeah, I work for him right now. Look, I'm not the one who took your friend. Probably them. They probably think he knows where the package is. The package? Yeah, we have that. It's just an old printer. What do they want about it? It's not the printer itself. It's what's inside the printer. I heard them talking about some kind of military blueprints. They're planning on selling it to the, the black market, to the highest bidder. All right. Tell your friends that we've got the printer and we want to make an exchange. Their plans for our friend. What? We can't get rid of the printer. I like it. Plus, it's, it's kind of fun carrying it around. Listen, don't worry. I got the plan this time. I think they're coming in now. Good to see you, Marky Mark. Always a pleasure, Armado. Where's the bag? Where's Marley? Go get him, boys. Here's your schizophrenic hyena. Now let's move this along. Try anything hotshot and it'll be the last move you make. Understood? Hand over the bag. All right, but one thing first. Want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Listen, boss, I'm sorry. Please, wait. No, no, boss! Shut it, Nat. You've been nothing but trouble. But since I came to your dojo, I paid you 140 bucks. I thought I was your grasshopper! Training? I made you wash my windows and clean my grill. That dojo was just a front for my other businesses. I knew that training was bogus. Now it's time to end this. I'm going to kill all of you, starting with the biggest mourn of them all. Armado, your dad was a real piece of work. A king among mobsters. You can barely get out of your grandmama's house. Listen, uh, sensei, or whatever it is, I can't, I can't... Goodbye, George Armando. Sensei, Wait, no! Get on the ground! Ah! Put your hands on the vehicle! Get! Yeah. What is this? Put your hands Let's on the go. vehicle! Stop. Go on to the penitentiary. Yeah, they are bad. Go. Get them Stop. out of here! Get Don't them bad guys out of here! I will <laughs> shoot! How do you guys set them up? We couldn't have done it without the help of our friend George. Yeah, I mean, George was big. You're done no. right, George! Oh, <laughs> Very impressive, young man. We could use more people like you down at the station. Are you offering me a, a j j job? I could finally move out and pack my own lunches. Yeah, I'll keep in touch.
Hey guys, what should we do with the printer? Eric, I think I have an idea. Let's go.